seven recommended ekiben you can buy at Tokyo Station. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Samurai Junjiro, born and raised in Japan. In this video, I'll be introducing you to some of the ekiben you can buy at Tokyo Station. Tokyo Station in the center of Japan is home to ekiben from all over Japan. I'll introduce you to seven different kinds of ekiben from the classic to the newest. Now, let's get started. Here we are at Tokyo Station. Tokyo Station is number one station in Japan with over 4,100 trains arriving and departing each day. The station is huge and there are many places selling ekiben. This time, we'll introduce the store where the most ekiben are gathered so that even those who are new to Tokyo Station can easily understand. This is the ekiben shop I'll be introducing this time. Matsuri. It is located between platform 6 and 7 along the central aisle on the first floor of Tokyo Station. They are open from 5.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. which means they are open most of the time Tokyo Station is open. This store sells over 200 kinds of popular ekiben from all over Japan. From fresh seafood to luxurious ekiben made with wagyu beef and more. I'm going to introduce you to seven different kinds of ekiben from all over Japan. Now, let me introduce the first ekiben. The first one we are going to eat is chicken bento, which originated in Tokyo. It's a classic ekiben that has been on sale for over 50 years. Let's open it up. Inside, there are four different kinds of food, including karaage and ketchup-flavored rice. It's simple and especially popular with the kids. First, let's eat the karaage main dish in this bento. It's so well-seasoned, it tastes great even when it's cold. So big and satisfying to eat. This is pickled cabbage and carrots. I love the sourness. I love that there's smoked cheese in there too. The rice seasoned with ketchup is sweet. On top of the rice, there are scrambled eggs and dried tomatoes. Dried tomatoes in oil are sour and fruity. Then, I will introduce the next ekiben. The second one is Hipparidako Meshi from Hyogo Prefecture. It's filled with sweetened octopus and soy sauce flavored rice. It comes in a special gold container to commemorate the 10 million units sold. By the way, these chopsticks can be extended. Let's open it up. Inside is a sweetened octopus and vegetables. I love the colors. The octopus is soft and tender because it's been slowly simmered in a soup stock with soy sauce. The flavor is soaked to the inside. Under the octopus, there's carrots, bamboo shoots, shiitake mushrooms, and eggs. By the way, the special gold container contains chestnuts. It has a sweetness to it. There's also taco ten, which is made by deep frying ground white fish and octopus together. The plump texture is irresistible. The rice seasoned with soy sauce goes great with the octopus. The conger eel is also included in this dish, which is very extravagant. The third item I would like to introduce is the Hello Kitty Bullet Train Ekiben. This ekiben was made to commemorate the 2018 service. It's sold in Okayama Prefecture, but you can only buy it at this store in Tokyo. Let's open the box. 
It's a cute package with Hello Kitty on it. Actually, the other side has a different illustration. They are both so cute. Let's open it up. There's chicken rice, burger steak, sausage, and more inside. Hello Kitty is inside too, and she's so cute. The dashimaki tamago is soft and fluffy. The burger steak has a demi glace sauce with a sweet flavor. The Hello Kitty shaped kamaboko is also cute. By the way, kamaboko is made by steaming fish paste. I like the ketchup flavored rice topped with some eggs. There's also a jelly with Hello Kitty on the package. It's fruity with a nice, soft texture. By the way, it even comes with a limited sticker to this Eki Ben. Next up is this. This is Kyoken in Yokohama, which is famous for Eki Ben. I decided to go for the more luxurious version of the standard Eki Ben from Kyoken. In Kyoken's Eki Ben, Shumai is included. It's been popular ever since it was released over 90 years ago. There are so many dishes and so many varieties. It has sesame oil flavored Szechuan pickles, soy sauce flavored bamboo shoots, sweet apricots, and more. The chinjao rosu has a strong seasoning. The karaage is juicy. Let's try the pork cutlet with sauce. It tastes great with rice. Let's try the classic shumai at Kyoken. The pork is juicy and you can taste the sweetness of the scallops. You can see why it's been popular for over 90 years. The fried rice is soaked in the flavor of the chashu pork. The egg and green peas are a nice accent. The portion is large and satisfying to eat. Next up is the seafood ekiben. This is a seafood bowl from Aomori Prefecture located in the north of Japan. Let's open it up. It's filled with grilled salmon and salmon roe. It's a luxurious ekiben. Besides the seafood, there's komatsuna, tamagoyaki, and shibazuke pickles. The salmon flakes have just the right amount of saltiness to go great with the rice. The salmon roe has a nice popping texture. The soy sauce flavor is also very strong. The grilled salmon is so fluffy. The salmon is fatty and melt in your mouth. Eating salmon roe, salmon and rice together is incredibly delicious. It tastes authentic like something you would get at a fancy Japanese restaurant. Next up, I'll show you a much more luxurious dish. This is a seafood bowl made with crab from Fukui Prefecture. It's an ekiben with a long history made by a store that's been in business for 120 years. Let's open it up. It's filled with snow crab and scallops. The good aroma of the crab is irresistible. The scallops are huge and satisfying to eat. It's soaking up the sweet sauce. The rice is soaked in the crab soup too. The fluffy texture of the egg has a nice accent. The crab meat is loosened and topped with crab miso. It's so rich and goes well with sake. The crab legs are fresh and juicy. The crab has a rich and sweet taste. Crab and rice go so well together. I'm surprised you can buy such a luxurious dish at a train station. Now, on to the next dish. The last ekiben we'll eat is made with wagyu beef. 
It's made by a store in Yamagata Prefecture that's been around for over 120 years. Let's open it up. There's so much Wagyu beef on top that you can't see the rice. It smells so sweet. There's also konyaku seasoned with soy sauce, radish seasoned with vinegar, and tamagoyaki too. The wagyu beef is simmered in soy sauce and sugar and tastes just like sukiyaki. The crunchy texture of burdock is a nice accent. The flavor of the soup stock and meat soaks into the rice and is delicious. The quality is so good that you wouldn't believe you bought it at the station. You should definitely get some when you are in Tokyo Station. If there's a restaurant you'd like me to introduce, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe to my channel too. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video.